ho ho! Oh, hey, that's me, your narrator. Earlier this year, we bought a $300 pit bike from Amazon. We upgraded the foot pegs, gave it a new exhaust, and even upgraded the handlebars. But something about the half horsepower weed whacker engine just really wasn't doing it for us. But that all changes today. We went with the uh, KTM 50 knockoff engine, also from China, off of eBay, which cost more than the whole bike did. So, you know, there's that. But it's a pretty sweet little engine. It's 50cc, two stroke. It's actually got a kickstart and like an internal gearbox. It only has one speed, but as opposed to this one, which is like this external weird gearbox thing. So should be a huge upgrade in horsepower and sound and looks, because it's got this sweet little expansion type here. We send this engine out, you know, with a little last little moment of glory. <laughs> got a new uh, ornament for the tree just in time for Christmas, so we just gotta find a place to hang this up, you know, because it has no other uses. I mean, you said you could make a, you wanted to make a blender out of it. That would, but then we found out it has less horsepower than a blender. Been fun so far because it's moving fast which uh, keeps me entertained so we got the <laughs> motor mounted on uh, two different mount points so we got one down here that just was a original bar and then we added a bar right here that will stiffen the frame as well as it acted as a second mount point so now we'll throw these fuel lines on and we can give this thing a kickstart and see how it sounds the neck got stuck open in the gas tank, so I just covered the table with gasoline. Really good welding environment. Oh yeah, it just cleans everything up a bit. Yeah, this is the world's oldest two-stroke oil. No idea where it came from, it's just on the shelf. So we'll add some of that, because that's probably good for breaking in an engine. Uh, and the amount that we're gonna add is approximately uh, that much. Yeah. <laughs> you. Yeah. He measured it with his eyes when it came out. <laughs> Is this our first brand new engine from eBay? Yeah. Because I was happen. grounding through me. I was holding yeah. onto the foot peg and then I, yeah. But yeah, that works. Well, Sam, I think you just completed the world's fastest engine swap. <laughs> what was I, that, an afternoon? Not even, right? We took a lunch, <laughs> we, did, we went on the cop car. You know, when you've got a really high bore engine, big, big bore engine, you got to get all the leverage to start it.
got the sprocket done up here. Um, it's all welded in and uh, faced nice and good. So we're gonna copy these bolt holes onto it and put it in. But before we do that, we're taking this tire off because we wanna test this today. We won't be able to get the track on. It's super snowy. So we're gonna use some self tappers and we're gonna stub the tire and, uh, and take it for a spin and see how those do. So after, you know, driving 90 self tappers through here, we got it studded. And uh, to protect this too, we used Gorilla Tape, a lot of it, and hopefully that will do it. Looks professional, that's how you do it after you stud your dirt bike tire. You do little strips like that in there and yeah. So let's put the tube in, put it on, and see if we can get some traction. What we got here is a two-stroke conversion with some studs ready for a rip. Have you ever ridden a two-stroke before? Uh, no, no I have not. And I'm honestly more excited than I was with the cop car, I think. This is gonna be sweet. <laughs> it wouldn't have even moved before. Sam's already eaten it twice. <laughs> machine on the snow. It's got definitely five times the more power for sure. <laughs> oh shoot. A little too much throttle on that one. <laughs> but the uh, studs work really well, honestly. You wouldn't believe it if you just saw that. But they're working. They're getting traction. <laughs> shoot, this is crazy. <laughs> I'm not the pro dirt bike rider, so maybe we should let Edwin have a rip at this one. I'll give it a go. I think we should put some air in the tire, though. Holy shoot. That is, uh, yeah, huge increase in power, way uh, big increase in fun, and it's going to move a track. I think that's going to that's gonna happen this week, hopefully. So let's put a little more air in the tire and then see what Edwin could do on this thing. <laughs> What's the damage? So we got the tire off the wheel, which is good. And we just barely clipped my pants, which my wife is gonna love this clip here. So, <laughs> hi babe, <laughs> ripped my pants. The, it went good other than we got the tire off the wheel here and uh, we just spun the tube a little bit and have enough air in the tire. So I'm gonna pop that back on and we should be good. It didn't pop the tube, so nothing too bad. Not really that much damage. <laughs> We'll do some serious sending tomorrow. Oh yeah. We were able to patch the tire last night, put that tube back in. We got some spare tubes. Now we got daylight, it's running good. And uh, I got boots, 
So, you know, uh, I'm a little bit more confident than the tennis shoes last night. So we're just gonna really have some fun. And Ed says if he's feeling confident, he's gonna jump off of, uh, of this. So let's do it. Let's take a ride and see what happens. So it's got the power, but I don't know if I have the balance for this. <laughs> I have like the absolute least amount of dirt bike experience you can have. And the Sarin's like my limit right now. <laughs> so I think this is really gonna be best in your hands to show us what it can do. I can barely ride in a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a shot. It's a balance between it having traction and then it having a little uh, too much power almost to break free traction it does have, so. <laughs> yeah, dude, I think it's your turn. <laughs> All right, sounds good. I've got my boots and they're bigger than the bike, so. You know. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just such a short wheelbase. I think that's what makes it so difficult, but I haven't really ridden it since we got the new horsepower, so let's see. Well, now I talked you up, so you just gotta rip this thing, no problem now. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, you just have traction until you don't. <laughs> oh, let, me, let me see your face, dude. <laughs> We're losing body pieces. You got so much snow packed in oh, that helmet, dude. So cool. <laughs> you were really going quick, but somewhere in this area, it seemed like to go really bad for you. <laughs> is that a snow plow or is that my body? <laughs> this is your body right here. <laughs> oh man. He, he went down like right here and there's where the bike ended. I was going so fast I caught air and flew over the handlebars before I hit the ground. Oh, I can't wait to see that clip. If only that was slow-mo. <laughs> oh. It's a dirt bike. Going fast down the driveway doesn't mean anything. So we're gonna try to do this hill climb. <laughs> <laughs> I was practicing. Here's the secret. You do a like 95 degree squat, put your knees in so you can move the handlebars more, like this. Okay. I just went all the way around the woods. Well, let's go do it, dude. Hit that jump right now off the berm, straight up. You'll hit that jump right now. All right. All right, let's see if we can't slip on some wet logs.
So the next step, obviously this isn't the best time of year to test out a dirt bike. So we're gonna make the world's smallest snow bike. We're gonna put a little ski up in the front. We're gonna extend this a bit. So the, the track actually happens back here. And we're gonna use the tiny little tracks we used when we put snow tracks on the Camaro. So we'll have the world's smallest snow bike with about, I think it probably does have about five horsepower. Like it's not all usable because it's not really in the low end with the way the clutch works. This is probably made for like a 70 pound rider, <laughs> not 170 pound. So if we tune up the clutch, gear it down, get a snow track, we're gonna have a functional usable world's smallest snow bike. So Sam stripped the bike down to the frame. There's no major issues. This thing is a tank and next week, we're gonna turn it into a snow bike. But in the meantime, if you wanna win a good motorcycle, we are doing a giveaway. Every $5 spin on merch gets you an entry to win an electric bike. That's awesome. So go head over, do that, and then next week, we'll do this. Tackled by a football player on that one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you just like have so much confidence and it feels so good and fun, and then you just get slammed. <laughs> this thing's tough though.